Hey, what's up everybody? Still in Salt Lake City, downtown. We're about literally three minutes down east from downtown Salt Lake City, closer to the University of Utah. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at Sahara Homes and this contemporary, like modern contemporary home. It's beautiful, at least from what I saw on the, uh, the magazine. Again, the builder is Sahara Homes. It's a completely custom home, as you can see. You know, I, there's a lot of older homes, as you can see right next door, older construction. So the fact that they have something that's contemporary like this is one of a kind. This is dubbed the urban oasis. Even the street appeal is just gorgeous, as you can see right here, the, the garage. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead inside and take a quick look. Uh, there's some features on it that I really wanna take a look. Like it talks about floating staircases and just more of a Scandinavian. Oh yeah, we forgot the booties. Look at this, my wife helping me with the booties. That's called teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, well, chop chop. <laughs> but anyway, the the facade of the home, the urban appeal, the curb appeal is amazing. I love the the metal hand railing. Definitely an urban, and then again, a beautiful sunny day to take a look at this beautiful construction. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, and I'm gonna help my wife with the booties, and then we're gonna go inside. Pretty easy so far. All right. I love it already. Just walked in and I love it. So we got about nine foot ceilings. Here's the entrance. We got a, a lighting fixture, chandelier. I love the door. Metal. The hinge is actually right here. So as you open it, you get a gap on both sides. I think that's very cool. Wood flooring. I love it. Got the fireplace. And check this out. So the floating staircase plus the glass partition. That is awesome. Now, like I said, it's more of a Scandinavian feel. Uh, the uh, open concept and oh yeah and look you can actually have these sliding doors all the way and have more of an indoor outdoor entertainment option overseeing the west so that's heading west and then pretty bright concept so you have the dining you have the custom lighting um, chandelier you have an oversized island and again the color palette is awesome it's perfect we have the stainless steel appliances. Now we're gonna go this way. And I love the high ceilings, that's perfect. So, I guess this is closet space. Yeah. And then behind the kitchen, we have the first, oh, it's a full bath. So we got the toilet, the fancy toilet right there. And again, definitely a more modern feel. I love the lighting fixture, the oversized mirror, the gold touches, and then the counter, the floating countertops. Very cool. And then you have the standing shower right in here. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so right next to this full bath, we have an office. It says do not touch, but I'm guessing that's a closet. So this could be a bedroom, could be a bedroom. Uh, the home itself, I think it's a little under 2,600 square feet uh, with I think three bathroom or three bedrooms and three baths, or two and a half baths, something like that. So this one is facing towards the back of the house. You got plenty of windows. You got a little bit of a backyard. Unfortunately, this house is not for sale, which uh, if it was, I'm pretty sure it would go fast. You do have an access point to the outside from the back. Uh, so whether you use it as a bedroom, use it as an office, music room, I think this would be perfect. See, so you have a little room, not much of a view. You can't really see the mountains from right here, um, but you have a, a decent sized backyard. And then just the side of the house, a little fire pit. Thank you. Okay, so bedroom number one behind the kitchen. And then we have, see another view of the kitchen or the island. Oh, the backsplash, that is so nice. Very cool. Oh, check this out. So you have the pantry and then you have climate control wine cellar back there. Very nice. I bet they have the soft clothes. I love it. Nice. Very cool and plenty of counter space. You may want for entertainment. Okay. Okay, I want to see the downstairs first and then we'll see the upstairs. And I really love this combo, the floating staircases with the glass partition, very nice touch. 
Okay, so now as we made it to the basement or AKA the garage, it looks like it's a one car, well, two car deep, but it's essentially a one car garage. Again, glass partition. And then behind me, we have a half bath. Same kind of combos we saw upstairs with the modern, uh, the awesome countertop. I wonder if this is quartz. I'm not sure, it feels like quartz. And then custom lighting, love the lighting fish, and then the mirror. Uh, and then I think that's it with the downstairs. So you just have a mud room right there, and then access to the back or uh, to the uh, garage. Actually, the garage keeps going. So this is definitely more than two car, so two car three car deep. Storage, maybe. Just storage. Okay, so that's about it. And I do love the black industrial railing. Um, with the contrast of the wood as well as the glass. Oop. Okay, so now going upstairs. Very nice. Okay, so now we make it upstairs. We do get a look to the downstairs. So it is open to the, I guess you could say the foyer, the lighting fixture, plenty of windows for natural light. And then we have bedroom number two. Here's the master gotta be the master but so we got vaulted ceilings chandelier same concept as uh, below we do have the sliding doors to get a pretty cool balcony overseeing the ochre mountains does that look wet to you out there no, i'm not going out there but it's just shiny but anyway king size bed and again very scandinavian themed taste look at this bathroom wow oh wow so it goes from the wood flooring to okay. sit not fit. No, this is finished. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Huh. So you got the floating uh, his and hers uh, sinks. Then you got, my goodness. You have your little closet, your toilet closet, standalone soaking tub with plenty of windows, not only next to you, but the, the skylight. That is cool. And then the shower, oh, I didn't even notice the shower head right here. So you can be showering right here and then you conversing with your special someone. And then this is the walk-in closet, which does not seem to be finished. So walk-in closet, very cool. I like it. And I think this lights up. Oh, buttons are right there. And I think this is a pre-lit mirror. So master bedroom, second floor. Is this closet? And I'm pretty sure there's just a closet or the washer and dryer possibly. And then we got bedroom number two, also with the vaulted ceilings. This one has an, I didn't notice. Maybe the other one did have a exposed beam, which is very cool. And then custom chandelier, closet I'm assuming. Even the doorknobs are pretty cool. It's like this polished gold. The windows are Yeah, we got the windows and then you have, I guess, two access points. Oh wait, this is the Jack and Joe, that's what it is. So you got the bathroom right here, the tub, same concept. Oh yeah, so see, the pre-lit. Then you have the bathtub and then the other bedroom. So yeah, Jack and Joe bathroom. And then this one does, I was gonna say it does have a view, but this one's just facing east. But again, the home itself is not for sale. Um, but again, the location, no. I'm giving it, if it was priced to sell, I would say it'd be somewhere in the two to 2.5 million. It is a crazy amount of money, but I would, I'm gonna ask downstairs to see if I get, get it right. You go ahead and write a comment and see what you think, how much you think it is. Uh, but that's about it. So the home itself, content, contemporary modern with a Scandinavian feel. And, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and ask and then I'll see you in a second. All right, so it's actually a three-car deep garage, and it's an epoxy, like a different kind of epoxy floor. And look at this, it keeps going. So you have plenty of room for closet, whether it's there or just storage throughout this whole... Oh, and look, and this is where you, this is where you keep your, your bars of gold. Uh, but yeah, in reality, it's a three-car deep garage. I love the floor. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and then coming out, I guess... That's the, the vendor for the, the epoxied floor. And then just coming out of the garage. So I did ask the, the builders, this is a custom job for a client. 
I was a little bit off. I said 2.5 million. There's actually somewhere around the 1.9, possibly hitting the $2 million mark. So beautiful home, the Urban Oasis by Sahara Custom Homes. Fortunately, not for sale, but they have done stuff in Draper, Harriman here in the Salt Lake Valley. So if you have any questions regarding this builder, if you have the budget or you're looking for custom, let me know. You already know what to do. And yeah, so keep up. Go ahead and watch the previous videos and the ones following this for the 2023 parade, Solid Parade of Homes. We still have a few more homes to take a look at. All right, peace.